you are overwhelmed at this place in your life, at this place in your direction, at this place in what you're hoping to accomplish to um, to receive, you're you're overwhelmed and you're at a standstill because there are so many directions that are pulling you. It's almost like you're a um, rubber band and these things that are pulling you are trying to stretch you, stretch your mind, stretch your understanding, just even stretch your fears. Everything that's there that has life is being stretched, whether it's good or bad. And you're stuck. And it's going to take a God to free you from this place. You don't want to be there no more. You say to yourself, how did I end up here? Is this my reward for my labor, for my efforts, for my consistency, for my faithfulness? This is it. God, is this is the reward or the punishment that I should receive? You've been asking these questions in your mind and your heart because you know what the word says, you know what you're believing for, you even know, you believe that you know what God has spoken to your heart concerning what you want to achieve because you know the scripture says that if you delight yourself in him, in God, he will give you the desires of your heart, but your heart, the desires, it seems like they're distant, they're somewhere else, it seems like the only thing that, that touches your heart is pain disappointment rejection being alone and you're tired of being alone you just want understanding you just want certain things to happen just some just some of the small things it doesn't have to be all the large stuff but just some of the small things this is your cry this is your cry. But you need to know that God is faithful. And he heard your cry. And systematically, he's rewarding you. You just wait and see. Just wait and see just a little while longer. And watch God's hand begin to grant you give you, reward you according to the good measures of your heart. God is going to do it. Don't give up on God because he will never give up on you. God bless you.